And with the economy struggling, Texas stands to lose billions of dollars in sales tax revenue. Yes, yeah, so tonight, Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold shows us what that could mean for programs that many of us depend on. So Front Row Signs is a full-service business. You've seen Patty Snyder's work all over town. You just didn't realize it. We do banners, channel letter signs, any fabrication. Snyder, owner of Front Row Signs, has been in business five years. She now only has enough cash on hand to keep the doors open for another two weeks. We're kind of in a crunch time here. The federal paycheck protection program ran out of money while her application was pending. Yeah, something temporary just to get us through this hump would be would be pretty much uh, what we need. Snyder and thousands like her are the other casualties of this pandemic. I think we're gonna see lots of repercussions here in the next few months. With so many businesses going dark or slowing to a crawl, Texas is expected to take a massive hit in sales tax revenue. Just since March 14th, the state has processed more than 1 million unemployment claims. When will we know exactly how much of a hit Texas is gonna take financially from this? We're gonna have real numbers being able to look at this. Probably the beginning of June is when we'll get our first true glimpse from an impact to the state treasury. And state controller Glenn Hagar expects to revise Texas's revenue estimates estimates in July. And I have no doubt when we do that in July, we're talking about in the billions of dollars. But the question is, we don't know how many billions of dollars. Communities dependent on tourism are feeling the immediate impacts. Channel 2 Investigates already showed you how the city of Kima had to cut part of its police force because of lost revenue. The oil and gas industry is another area hit hard. Hagar says in simple terms, there's more supply than demand. With so many people staying at home, or distancing not just in Texas and the U.S., but literally around the world, we've seen prices go down significantly. Hagar says, fortunately, Texas has a $10.2 billion rainy day fund. Texas is a cash focus perspective. We're in very good shape compared to other states. Fortunately, we've already done a two-year budgeting cycle which means we've got a lot of flexibility to move money around. State Senator Paul Bettencourt says while Texas is in far better shape than many states, we are in for tough times. How tough won't be known until April and May sales tax revenues are in and what Texans can afford when property taxes come due. When we get through with what we're collecting, what the public can afford to pay us, then what the federal government's going to give us, then we'll know what the delta is and how much we're going to have to work with. Betancourt says getting the economy restarted by summer is key to staving off irreparable economic damage. How do you restart an economy while making sure that you don't restart another pandemic? I think we can bring people back with skeleton crews and a strong social distancing and all the businesses to start with. The other unknown is us. Even when Texas is fully reopened. Are people going to want to go back to the mall? Are they going to want to go back to the movie theater? Of course, the bigger question is going to be, what can we all afford? Senator Betancourt is chair of the Property Tax Committee, and he sits on the Senate Finance Committee. He says when the legislature convenes in January, he and his fellow lawmakers know they're going to have to be flexible on payment deadlines, penalties, and interest. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.